Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I probably shouldn't even really be doing this video. It's uh, pretty explanatory, explanatory, but somebody's trying to do a rush job on Epilogue's Facebook page. So I thought I'd just show them how to do it real quick. You've got a font, and they mentioned that they want to engrave half the font and cut the other half out. And if I get them right, I'm going to take my font, and I'm going to left-click, right-click, I'm going to go to a range and convert it to a curve because we're going to use that later. Now I'm going to change my nudge distance. This is about seven inches. So I'm going to change my nudge distance to seven inches. I'm going to use the smart fill tool and fill in my font. Then I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key and delete all this. Now there's other ways to do this, but this will be the easiest way. Because uh, you've got the virtual segment delete key right there. Is just delete these lines. Because by the time you figure out how to weld it or, or back minus front, you could have it done. Then I would use the Smart Fill tool to fill that in and cursor down. Take this away. Take the whole thing away. Take this. Left click. Right click. Move it up. All that will cut out. And that won't, but it'll engrave. So you won't have any problems. This will all be one unit. And your smart fill tool, your fill-in will just engrave that. And this will be uh, pretty cool. And I would actually think about maybe adding a border to this line so it kind of shows up. And that would be another video, but I'm just trying to. Uh, help them out on a Saturday afternoon. Hope that helped them a bit. Thank you for watching.